Hi, this is Tanya from Love Butter Tarot, back with the card of today for the 9th of the 9th, 2016. Big day today and big smiles as well. I really apologise for yesterday. Everything went a little bit funky. Everything is, 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 is all cool now. I'll explain how that happened in a bit because it ties in with the cards a bit. But back with the cards for today. Um, everybody knows, like I say this, you know, it's the 9th of the 9th now and it's... It's a really, really good day to restart. So this is like, it's like the first day of the rest of your life, if that makes sense. Um, and there's a calmness. I lay this morning and I just sort of, I just clocked what was going on. You know, I took it all in and there is a real calmness. There's, there's, there's change, but I really feel it's just, it's transition rather than then fight and change because I really feel it's like the fighting's over, if if that makes sense, which is quite interesting with the cards. So anyway, I'll get straight on with the cards. Today when I woke up, I had a song in my head and I was just humming it and, you know, didn't even recognise what the song was. When I came downstairs and picked the card, it was like spirit turned the volume up on this song and the words actually came into it. Um, and I said spirit were working themselves yesterday. They're still been a little bit funny by giving me Craig David songs, you know, that, that's not my type of music. But the song that I heard in my head was Craig David's I'm Walking Away. Um, and like I say, this card <laughs> that we have here, it's the Eight of Cups. Now, the Eight of Cups has been out before, but there's, there's, a, there's a good feeling I'm getting with this. A lot of times the Eight of Cups, when it comes out, it can be very bittersweet you know, because it does mean leaving something behind, you know, and going out in start of your journey. But with this, there, there, there isn't that somber feeling. I mean, even though it's nighttime there, it's like everything is illuminated quite, quite well, you know, so it's not like a dark, dingy nighttime like you get on some other cards with this. So when this, this card comes in, it's sort of like you've had this wake up call, you know, and it's, it's like all of the mist that has been in front of you has gone now and you're left with a clear picture of how things are. Now, it's always about change and transition, this card, you know, always. Um, and what it's saying is it might not be that you've been living in hell, but you haven't been living in heaven neither, you know. So the young guy, well, the guy in this in this card has... It's like he's turned his back, you know, on everything that he's accomplished or everything that he's had before as well. And he's disappearing into the night, you know. And yeah, there's a bit like difficult terrain there, but he's been through these rocks and everything. He knows that, you know, it will all be OK as well. You know, he's got his staff there. He's got his support. He's got a red cloak on, you know, and the red cloak is like, you know, this is about... He's secure in what he's doing. He knows what he's doing and he's quite passionate about it as well. The red is coming in as, as passion there, you know. So this could be like going after your passions or or something like that. Um, I mean, the person in here has experienced life's joys and their sorrows, you know. And the reason he needs to take this journey is because he now has a restlessness, you know. Um, there's an unhappiness that he has around him because it's like... He's got everything that he's supposed to have. So everything that society tells us we should have, it's like he's he's done the tick list. But there's something missing, you know, and this is this ninth cup. That ninth cup is what will bring him contentment and happiness. So it's like, although he has everything on paper, what he should have, you know, there's there's an unfulfilled feeling coming with this, you know. He's not as fulfilled as what he expected. And it's like, I've said this before, the longer he stays in this situation where he is or was, the more his soul and being are feeling crushed, you know. It's like he's losing himself a little bit of himself every single day. Um, and what he's chosen to do when this card comes in is, you know, he's he's forsaken the familiar, you know, he's walking out of his comfort zone because although it is a comfort zone, he knows that nothing ever grows there, you know, he will not grow, he, he will just stagnate in this place and he knows he owes it to himself 
to go out in search of this, this this missing cub. You know that he knows is out there. You know that's it. He's you know he's 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 on his way. Um, so it's he hasn't found the deep satisfaction that he's yearning for in in the world. You know he he hasn't found that in his world. You know, um, and like I say, you know, within that familiar what he has, he knows that he will never find it. So this is why he goes off on his journey, you know. Um, and if we think, you know, it's it's of the infinity, it's like this is all interconnected, you know. Spirit have a bigger plan for us. That's what they said to me yesterday. I was having a complete freak out. Um, I realized I detoured into fear. There was a lot of fear coming up. There was uh, change coming up. You know, I was presented with a situation that I'd actually experienced before. So the pain of that had came up. And it was like, you know, it was like spirit came, got me by the shoulders and said, just surrender. You know, we've got you. And I was like, right, are you sure? <laughs> and they were like, yeah, yeah, just surrender. You know, we have a bigger plan for you. And with that, it was like instantly, you know, there was just there was a safeness. And, you know, like I say, you know, when you have a situation that you've actually experienced before that brought pain, then what you need to do if you're presented with that situation again is do things differently. Because it was Einstein that said, if we do the same expecting a different result, then that is the sign of insanity, you know. So what we need to do is do something different, you know, if we're presented with that again. And it's right, okay, then that all falls into place. So yeah, spirit have a bigger plan for us, you know, and they know, they know what is going to happen and they know that it is the highest good. You know, spirit have your back. That's what they do, you know, they have your back and they're wanting you to go where you will find this fulfillment and you will find this, this missing cup as well. Now, a lot of people within this card as well, a lot of tarot readers actually say that, um, the guy in the picture is actually following the moon. You know, within this one, the moon's behind him there, but the moon is very significant. Um, and what I got when I looked at this card, if we have a look at the moon, it seems like two moons there now. It's not the colours of a solar eclipse, but it does look like that one's crossing. And then I was alerted to the eight. Eight days. Eight days from now is the 16th. The 16th is when we have another solar eclipse. So <clears throat> today it's like, Right, okay, everything is working together. It's very, very strange how they're all um they're all tying in. So this person <coughs> sorry, <coughs> this person is going off in search of their dream. Others may say it's a crazy dream, but it's their dream, you know, and it's calling to them. And you know, it's it's like it could have been calling to him for a while as well, but it's like now he's like, right, okay, I'm ready, I'm gonna listen to it. And he is following following this dream, you know. He is following his intuition and he is following his gut as well. Now, he'll need fortitude to do this, you know, um, because when we are in something that we know, it's very easy to know the emotions around that and, um, you know, to, to carry on in, in the same way. It's, a, it's harder to give these emotions in the unknown as well, you know. But it's it's by venturing into this unknown that we will raise up a level. And this is what the plan is, you know, to raise you up. Um, so this card, like I say, it has got a bit of sweet and it, it often can mean separation, divorce, you leaving your town, you leaving something like that. You know, it's 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 a biggie. He's not just popping down the shops, you know. Um, and this one, it, it's like... You know that within this, there will be difficulties ahead, but I'm just getting there. But when there's moonlight and what what's that song? Um, there may be trouble ahead, but when there's moonlight and dancing and love and romance, let's face the music and dance. Sorry, that just came through with it. But that's it. You know, the moonlight is there and this is it. You know, he knows there's going to be trouble, but, you know, he's prepared to dance his way through it. Um this hasn't been an easy choice as well. You know, it hasn't. We've gone through all of the cups, if you think. The cups before this, uh, the seven of cups, is all about choices and seeing through illusions as well. We get to the eight of cups, then what comes after is the nine of cups, then what comes after that is the ten of cups. So it's like he's been through all of the emotional 
crap that he's had to, the ups and the downs, the roller coaster and everything like that. And this has brought him to this decision. Um, and it's like, you know, a lot of, I, I feel it's like a lot of, a lot of the things that were built up here in these cups, it's like they were built on sort of superficial values, if that makes sense. And he has this, this urge, this desire inside of him that he needs something more meaningful. You know, there is more to life than than this, you know, and this is what is fueling his 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 quest and fueling his departure as well. You know, because it's a real emotional turning point, this, and it's going to lead to new adventures and new actions and new ways of being as well because it is time to move on to new things. The ninth of the ninth, this is a great card to have today. It's about shutting door, the door on the old and actually walking through that door in the new. And when this card comes in as well, it's like there's no turning back. This is it. You know, it's you, you've set out. He's left everything behind him and he's on his quest as well, you know. And he has the courage to do this. So he's leaving behind the safe and the familiar. That is never easy, you know, but it's it's also not easy staying in safe or familiar, you know, because like I say, when you have this urge and this passion to grow within yourself and you're hearing your, your soul calling you and you're hearing the universe calling you and you're stuck somewhere where you can't, where you're confined and, you know, there's no growth allowed there. This is, that isn't easy neither, you know, so at least with this, he has his freedom and it's like, yeah, he's taken a risk. And, you know, a lot of people might say, you know, are you sure that's a risk? And there is no guarantee of success, you know. But when he thinks about what he's doing and he actually feels that warm feeling in the pit of his stomach, you know, and he knows that this is his soul nudging him forwards and he trusts his soul and he trusts the universe, um, you know, the risk isn't, isn't that bad at all, you know, and I feel the risk of staying is worse than the risk of, of leaving. I think the consequences of that would be worse than this. So, like I say, there's a, there's a real, I like it, you know what, it's, there's sort of like a, there's a gentle determination, that's what I'm feeling, it's not like a gung-ho, it's a, there's a gentle determination coming through with this. So, you know, really, really nice card. And what, what I've just been alerted there as well, you see they're all stacked up. There's been a lot of sayings lately, a lot of the things I've been reading about this, you know, about the solar eclipses, about the 9-9, nine -nine, all of this, have been saying it's time to get your ducks in a row, you know? And he's like, you know, he's got his cups all in a row, that's it, and, you know, he's got everything sorted, and this is, you know, it's sort of like adios, if, if, if that makes sense. So I really like that card. This one, however, the Osho one, these Osho cards, the second you pull them, you actually feel it, you know, and the feeling I got with this one is, is I didn't like it, you know, pretty much how I was feeling yesterday, to be honest. And <clears throat> the, the card that we have with Osho today, and I really feel that this could be why he is moving on because this is, this is here, you know, I, I really feel that that's where it ties in in some way. Um, and the card today is fighting. I don't know if you can see that. It's just like, it's not a very nice card at all. And there's a huge frustration comes through with this card as well. And if we look at the figure in the picture, it's like his knuckles are white because his fists are clenched that tightly. His eyes are red with rage. And he's like protected by all of this spiky armor, you know. But the thing is, this spiky armor is actually looking quite rusty. So what this tells me is this is not a new situation, you know, and if we have a look at the image that's in his mind, I don't know if you can see that, and it's two people, like, fighting at loggerheads here, like, and then there's this castle underneath them. Um, so what is coming in with this is there's a real battle for control here and a needing to dominate a situation. Um, when we feel threatened or, you know, our first response is usually to fight you know or to or to attack um you know because we try to possess something we try to own it we you know we try to take the higher ground within it and this is our ego you know because our ego doesn't want us to give in you know 
Um, I know my, my father and his uh, ex-wife got divorced and it took them nine years to do it because neither of them, they were that stubborn, neither of them would actually do it. And it was like, the, it was actually like the film, The War of the Roses, you know, all of these horrible little snipey things going on. Um, and nine years it took them to move. And I, I just think that's that's ridiculous. And all they done, and in the end, neither of them got anything more than what they would have got in the first place. So it was just, it was a... It was an ego thing. They didn't want to back down. And it was just absolutely pathetic, to be honest, you know. So what's happening here is, um, you know, the ego does not want you to give in, you know. But what you've got to look at here is with this fighting, you know, are you hurting this other person? Are you winning in this control of dominance? You know, are, are you just causing yourself to live in pain, you know? When we cover ourselves with armor like this, we see it as a protection. It's like, yeah, yeah, I'm protected. But what we're really doing is we're cutting ourselves off and we're keeping ourselves clo closed in, you know. The armour presents any air from getting to any of our wounds, so healing can't happen. You know, while we are staying in this situation and while we are, yeah, okay, I'm great, I'm protected, there's no healing of it, you know. Um, and, you know, what it's doing is any wounds that are there will just fester and they will penetrate more deeply. Now, within this armor as well, I don't know if anybody's ever worn armor for a fancy dress or anything, you cannot move freely. You're restricted, you know, and it's pretty damn cold as well. So it's like you're stuck there with this armor on. It's cold. Um, your, your movement's restricted. You're always ready for a fight, you know, and it's that is not a way to be, you know. Life is far too short to hold on to anger and it's far too short to st spend your time fighting, you know. I've, I've just got in there, you know. Life is about love and it's not about fighting. Um, and, you know, whether this is fighting for possessions, whether this is having to fight to be yourself, whether this is just fighting for the sake of it because that's what you've grown used to. You know, the tension like the, 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 that's there is not... That is not normality, but when it's there all of the time, you get very used to it. Um, you know what? Because what within life, okay, pain is necessary. We we have pain, you know. We can never go through a life pain free because pain alerts us that there's something wrong. So if you're in any situation or if you have anywhere in your body that is is actually giving you pain there is something wrong and that needs to be addressed, okay? So pain is a necessary part of our life, but suffering is optional. You know, this is what you need to get. Suffering doesn't always come with pain, you know, but suffering is your choice to actually to actually sort of stay with that. So there's, there's never really a reason to fight, you know. It, it, it's like I say, everything can be can be talked about and if somebody's not prepared to talk about it then that's it you know you you give up the fight because you know life is too short to spend your time fighting um and it's you know if you have to fight for something you know there's a lot of people you know they they fight for what's theirs they fight for love they fight for affection you know they fight to be heard you know all of this you know it's if you've got to fight for it it's not yours anyway um, and you know, it's, it's like, if you feel you need to defend yourself, you know, as well, if you feel you need to defend yourself all the time, then the person that is, you are having to defend yourself against, or the first person you are having to fight against isn't really worth your time. Because what this is doing is this is, you know, this is, is draining, you know, Fighting is futile and it serves no purpose and all it does is just enrage yourself, you know. So instead of holding on to this hurt and holding on to this anger, it's time to forgive, you know. Forgive yourself, forgive the other person, forgive the situation, forgive the universe for giving you this situation. But know that the universe has only given you this situation where you have to fight so that you can realise that that's not right as well. So, you know, when we forgive as well, we're not condoning the actions. It's not like we're giving in. All we're doing is freeing ourselves from something that is causing us pain. You know, uh, we are releasing ourselves from this cage that we have built around us. And we're freeing ourselves like to a life without drama, a life without blame and a life without resentment. 
you know, because them three things, when they are in any life, they they are poison, you know, and they will just continue to grow, you know. So this card is saying, like, be a lover, not a fighter, you know. Um, and you need to look at areas of your life where you need to fight as well, you know, and think, uh why do I need the fight, you know, um, what good is this serving me, you know, and then realizing, you know what, this is time to let go because I need to take this armor off and I need to be able to, to, uh, move freely as well, you know, um, and like I say, when there's in this waiting and this fighting and he's ready, his fists are up there, he's ready for a fight, you know, this is such a waste because, you know, um, it, it just prevents him, from moving forward in the body because he has this armor on, but also in the mind as well. Um, so what is coming in with this card? And this is why what I wanted to speak about just briefly because I've, I've, I've gone way over there is it's like spiritual surrender. You know, like I say, spiritual surrender is stopping the fight, you know, stopping the fight against the flow and admitting that we are not in control of this. There is something higher, you know, and this is what happened yesterday. You know, I realized I am not in control of, of anything. You know, yes, there is fear. Yes, there is all of this, but, you know, I'll get through it. I know that they have my back, you know, and I, what I had to do was get out of my own way. <laughs> that was it. I was, I was a block yesterday for myself, you know, and I trust this higher power to, the, you know, whatever anybody says, I trust it. It has never let me down in the past, you know. So when we surrender, we free ourselves from this anger. We free ourselves from this torment as well, you know. And when we surrender, we get answers to our dilemmas. When we're like this all tight and, you know, like plowing through it, ready to plow through it head first, we're not getting the answers. When we surrender to it, you know, we will get the answers, we will get pointed in the right direction, you know, and we will get peace. And this is it. And it's a simple thing to do. And it's just, I'm done. That's it. Enough. And once you surrender into that, um, you know, this is when you will feel this this weight lifted as well, you know, because it's 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 such a liberating thing to actually fully fully surrender as well you know and this is also surrender to your ego and you know any thought it's just go with it you know what will be will be you know don't try and predict pre project don't try and plan too much it's just right okay just 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 flow with this you know and what happens is when we spiritually surrender like this this is when we are led to a life that is more joyful, a life that is more abundant, you know, and, you know, a life sort of beyond our wildest dreams, really, you know, because it, 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 it's, that is what is waiting for us. And it's as soon as this armor is take, taken off. And as soon as we decide this is it, it's time to walk away. Now, a lot of people think when you surrender, this is given up. And there's a big, big difference, you know, big, big difference about it. It's not about doing nothing, but it's also not about just sitting, waiting for the universe or God or whatever to hand you this new life on a plate. You know, it's not about that neither. So with surrendering, it doesn't get you off the hook. You know, um, what surrendering does is make you see how things really are exactly like the guy in the Eight of Cups has. Um, and this will spur you onto action. When you are fighting, you have the fight in your head. You have this defense. You have to you have to use everything within you to 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 be ready, you know, for whatever's coming for you. Once you surrender, that disappears, and you just see the bigger picture. And it's like, right, okay, it's it's my time to go, you know. So that it will by surrendering, this will spur you into action. So this isn't a non-action card. It's an action card, you know, like I say, he's got up there and he's he's walked. And if we have a look, he's a bit like what the hermit was, but he's he's looking straight ahead now. The hermit had his head bent, bent low. The hermit was internal. He's, he's looking ahead. He's looking in the direction he's going here, you know. So once we surrender and once we take action as well to get us, you know, away from from the familiar, because that is, that is no longer serving us, you know, um, we can, this is when we will, it will be joyous, you know, it will be, we actually take the path from, 
fear to love as well, because even if this is self-love, you know, which this guy is doing, this is self-love, you know, he is going off him because he loves himself enough to actually pursue his dreams and know that his life is a lot more meaningful where he's going. <coughs> So, you know, this is like taking compassionate action. So they're, they're quite, I actually really like these cards. I don't like that one too much, but I, like I say, I feel the rust and, and everything about this. I just feel it's like, it's, it's gone. You know, it's, it's the fighting, the fighting's gone. Um, and you know, it, it, it's, it's what, what is it they say, it's all over by the shouting, but it's like, you know, you don't even have to stand and listen to the shouting, you know, that's it, he's, he is wanting peace, and the feeling that is coming around at the moment, it's very calm, and it's, it's nice, and it's just, you know, it's no more drama, that's, that's, that, that's what's coming in, you know, the real, like, like, stop the drama, you know, so, I really, really like those cards. Like I say, very interesting for them to be on today because today is the, it's like you can press the restart button and it can, it can wipe everything and you can start with a completely fresh, clean slate today. You know, this is what we're being guided towards. Very, very important day. You know, if you felt the shift, please let me know as well. You know, if you are making changes like this, please let me know because it's, it's all good, you know, there is, there is so much ahead, and a lot of exciting stuff as well, you know, this has been coming a long, long time, you know, it's like, it's like the universe, what they've been planning for years, actually, you know, is, um, it's starting to come to fruition, and we're very lucky to be given the chances that we are, and living in the world at a time like this as well, it's, it's, it's all very exciting. So I'm going to go now, have a fabulous weekend. If I get the chance to do the cards of the weekend later on, I will. If not, then, you know, I'll see you Monday. Um, but yeah, there's, expect changes, but just don't, don't fight against them. You know, it's like I say, the universe has got you and they're with you every step of the way. Okay, so have a great weekend. I'll see you later on with the cards for the weekend. Start now.